and this is my backpack that I use to I have all of my gear when I'm flying uh, so I will show you how I pack it and what I usually bring with me Okay, so this is the stuff that I have inside the pack, plus this extra battery checker and uh, this uh, wand. I don't use this wand to change my single strength and uh, channels on the quad. I use this uh, on my FPV wing, so that's why I have this. And the way I ordered all my space, spacers on this pack is like this. Uh, this is quite normal, I think. Uh, extra spacers there. So, like most, I use this tool bag to carry all my batteries. Right now every one of them are used but when I are unused I usually put this cap on so I can see which battery is used and which one is empty. That's how that works. And in this big room I also have some extra things like a, uh, a camera programmer a cable for this uh, phone FPV thing if someone else wants to see extra prop nuts some cables to program the FR Sky receivers and extra SD card and some things that I can plug into my phone and USB and I also have one so I can plug the SD card into my phone if I, if I ever need that in case if I crash I lose all the signals and uh, I need to try to figure out where the quad is so I can then pull all the uh, files over to my phone and use the phone to track it. I'm just going to put this stuff back. But uh, the thing I did different than most in this big room is that I split, I can't even remember how it's supposed to be, but you have this, which should be over there I think, so you have this apart, this part for your transmitter, maybe they, this for your goggles. And yeah, you have this room as well, and we also have this. yeah, 
end is uh, probably goes like this, I think, and that as well. But since I am using the Horus, the old X12S transmitter, I didn't have the space in the pack to do that. So what I did is I took these small spacers and I curved them like this and then I just stuck it to the sides and what that does is for the transmitter when I lay it down it won't slide too much from side to side as you can see those two are stabilizing the transmitter and as an extra bonus also uh, I usually don't fly with this a neck strap but I always have it with me in case I want to use it this I just put in on this side and I have this OTG cable uh, for my phone I have that on the other side, like that, and then I have this transmitter saver, stick saver thing in the bottom, like that, and then I just put down the transmitter like this, and then in this room, I usually carry some extra antennas. Uh, Little holes. This is a. I haven't actually tried it yet, but this is a patch antenna. Extra lens for my cameras. And more antennas. That's what I have in this room. In this room, over here. I usually have these arms for my helping hand, so if I ever need to solder something, I have helping hands with me. I also took off some of these extra uh, hinges, so they aren't too long, so I can have them in my pack. And uh, this is just a thing, I have some soldering things, like the power cable, extra tips, some other stuff, like that, some soldering uh, tin. And also some heat rings. And in this box is the soldering iron, the TS-100, I think that's what it's called, yeah, TS-100. In this case it's just a 3D printed case. And then I have in the lid, like this. In this apartment I have more soldering stuff. I think. Well, let's jump to this. This is the tool apartment. And I have my nut, uh, prop nut tool, some scissors, a plier to hold the motor still when you are using the prop nut tool when you need to change props. Uh, this one, you can take off this, and then you have four different uh, tools you can use. I also have this bag with some extra tools that goes in there. I have two knives in case I lose the one or breaks or something. And in this I have 
some extra tools. I can change the bits on this if I need it. So that's all the tools I bring with me. In this apartment, I have my Googles. Uh, I use the Fat Shark HD3 with the Prud V3 with currently with the 3.6 firmware. I also have this uh, lens uh, protector in the back. It's always nice to have, so I don't scratch up your lenses. And this is also 3D printed, but this is 3D printed with TPU, so it's quite quite flexible, like this. So it goes like that. Quite happy with it. The goes goes down like this. And I have the patch antenna. I also use this 3D printed rings, so it's easier to screw on the antennas and things. And I also uh, usually use a, a Triumph antenna on my goggles, but I probably have lost that antenna somewhere. And that also goes down like this. This hole. Yeah, what do I have in this hole? So, well, in these two holes, I have this is some um, lens uh, cleaning spray. Nice to have with you. I got some tape in there, double sided sticky tape. This cap, this cleaning uh, sponge for my soldering iron. Also nice to have with you. And it's just inside a small tin container. Uh, the rest of the heat rings. Put them down there with this. A marker if I need to mark something like batteries, stuff like that. And I also bring a charging cable for my GoPro and a charger in case I have the opportunity to charge from a wall socket. That also goes down there. And I have this pouch. Sometimes I put the GoPro inside it, but not always. So I have it with me and cleaning cloth for my goggles and lenses. So that's what I have in this. Inside the tool bag, I have batteries and also extra batteries for my goggles. I use the Fat Shark. Uh, 18160 battery case that goes down there. And in the lid, I have this. Uh, it's a battery discharger, battery checker, and balancer. This I have in there, and this one is a smart battery checker and balancer and. It cannot discharge, and that is why I also bring this. But the, what this can do is uh, charge uh, all the things like the phone, the GoPro, and stuff. So you just put the USB cable inside there, takes the 60 battery there, and just plug it in and uh, choose the charge from the menu. And you can charge your GoPro in the field. That is quite handy. This goes there. And in the lid I have one quad. Like that. And also now is the GoPro attached. Some extra props. 
That's about the same size. Thanks for men's caps. Yeah, that's about the same size. The bank. On the sides, in this room, uh, I have extra batteries for my camera when I bring that. On the other side, I have some. Oh, what do you call this? Yeah, at least. Some of these extra battery straps and velcro stuff like that. <laughs> this apartment don't usually have anything but small props. For my smaller quad, like three inch props, two inch props. Nothing special. <laughs> of course, the Mayura mask on the back. It's very important. And I also bring the second quad in the back like that and sometimes uh, I also bring this small atom it's just an atom frame and the rest of it is kiss and a run cam and micro swift camera in the front so it's quite awesome to fly and if you want to know more about this, just leave a comment and then you will then I will make a video on how I build it and yeah, this is the second version I build. So that goes on this side like that. And if I need to bring a third quad I can maybe I put this on this side because that is tighter. I can also bring a third quad on this side like that. And that goes quite fine. So you have one quad on this side, one on the front. And one on this side, and also one on the inside. Not a problem. So if you liked the video, please subscribe, thumbs up, and leave in the comment if there are anything of this you want to know more about. That's it for me.